So in this video, I will explain in more detail how to control the human IK rig. So one of the main concepts to understand in Motion Builder is that your character is either driven by uh, no source, so it's it's actual FK uh, bone chain, so that's what gets exported in the animation engine. Uh, but of course, if you try to animate that directly, I mean, you can, but you don't have any option to, like, move the hips without moving the feet or things like that. So of course you want to use a, an animation rig. It's basic. So the source can actually be also uh, the character control rig. Right, so if you go to the navigator, you'll see that there are characters and there's a control rig. So a character always has a control rig and a character can also have character extensions, which are add-ons so you can add extra uh, controls for armor or weapons or root bone or whatever. So the control rig is made of two uh, type of controllers, the IK effectors. So those are the red spheres that you see here and they are the spheres in the animation picker. In red here you can toggle the visibility on and off. And you have the FK controllers, so uh, those are similar in terms of high key to the bones that your character is made of and they're just uh, FK so they are parented to each other. So if you go in the schematic view and zoom in you'll see all the yellow controllers have these parent relationship or as all the IK effectors are like directly parented to the reference which uh, with which you can offset the entire uh, rig so they are on their own, right? They are in world space, technically. So let's start by going in selection mode. So here you have three modes. You can be in full body, in body parts, or in selection mode. Selection mode is classical, so when you uh, select an object, you only interact with that object. So let's start simple. And I'm going to remove all the green stuff here. You'll understand why. So in selection mode, if I move an object around, the whole body follows. Now, if I actually take the feet and put them in IK mode, so let's say I want the feet to stay planted when I move the hips, I can select them and blend in some IK. So you have IK blend T and IK blend R for translation and rotation. So when I drag that on, you can see that there's an hemisphere on the left that turns green so that's for translation and on the right it's for the rotation and in the properties of my markers I also see that value here I keep blind turning on and off so now when I move my pelvis I'm still in selection mode the feet stay locked until I push a bit too far and so it's the same if I rotate let's say I want the chest to remain steady, I can take the chest and I can blend the rotation so that my chest is steady. If I select the chest and rotate it, the arms and the head follow in FK. So basically those IK blend decides if uh, the controls are driven by the IK or the FK. Right? So in FK it all follows local space and if I blend in the IK rotation it keeps its world space orientation when I move around. Same with the hands. Let's say I put a translation and rotation so they stay in place and let's say I disable the rotation but not the translation move the chest they stay in place but the hands local rotation is maintained so you actually have some rotation here so this is a pretty standard uh, system at first when you play with the, the IK blend you decide uh, if the model is driven by IK or FK and it's based on the keys so uh, if I turn on IK on my hand here and I go in 
and start moving the keys around. Let's say I want the hand to be a bit higher and a bit outward. Okay, so I only edited the keys of my IK controller for now, and my FK control still think that the arm is in this angle. So if I turn off the IK blend right now, it comes back where it was because I have not keyed yet and I'm not in auto key. Now the magic of motion builder is that you have the full body and body part modes. And in full body and body parts, um, the system becomes a lot more intelligent because the different objects or the different body parts can communicate with each other. So now that I'm in, in uh, body parts and I'm still on my arm, if I key, let me select uh, the different FK uh, bones here. You, you see the keys. I'm going to key in body part, now that I offset my arm. And suddenly the key of the FK have changed, because I keyed in body part. And so now they kind of accepted their new position uh, that was driven by the IK. So if I turn on, turn off the IK again, now they remain here, because their, their actual keys have been updated thanks to the body part mode. Basically the IK plan is going to drive the interpolation. So here on my uh, arm in body part, if I rotate it from this pose to that pose, and I display the trajectory of the hand, I can see this arc trajectory between those two keys. If I ask uh, the hand to be driven by the IK and I update this, it's actually a lot steadier now. I'll make those keys linear so it's even more clear. So the IK blend is going to drive the trajectory, the interpolation, but also decide if the IK or the FK drive the character. And on top of that, the really cool thing is that when you're in body part or in full body, um, you can, and you want to update the pose of your character, you can temporarily uh, pin certain parts. So it's similar to the IK blend, it's on the left and right. So on the left, you see this uh, translation pinning icon, and on the right, the rotation pinning icon. Now I pin both. And when I take the arm, the shoulder, and rotate it, the hand is pinned. When I take uh, the wrists and pin nothing, it now follows like this. And you can actually take the wrist and move it as well. So there's a seamless IKFK uh, manipulation going on. Same with the shoulder rotation. If I just take the clavicle and rotate it, my arm is steady. But if I take the shoulder and unpin the rotation, now when I rotate my clavicle, the whole arm rotates. And if I display the trajectory again, you can see that my uh, pinning options do not alter the trajectory. So the pinning is just at time t of frame f when you want to update the pose, uh, but it doesn't interfere with the IK blend. So here I have an IK blend trajectory with no pinning, but it's still an IK between those two keys. And so when you're in body part, different objects of that body part are gonna communicate with each other and be aware and the pinning is gonna have an effect on that body part and if you're in full body uh, all the body parts communicate with each other so if I try to rotate my pelvis my arm still remains uh, constrained here so there's a lot of flexibility you can easily pin the chest for instance and then pin the, the whole lower body and move the hip 
Oops, to have a lower body FK rotation. And you can temporarily ignore all the pinning by having this option here. You can see that all the pinning is now ignored or holding Q. In my case, I put it on a shortcut so I can move the character around. So basically, Machine Builder is great because all the, the different parts of the body talk to each other and uh, kind of react based on, on the settings that you put uh, on the pinning. So here, here in full body, uh, when I select at least one object, all the objects are highlighted, which means that when you key and when you move around, everything reacts. But in body part, uh, if I just select the arm, for instance, only the right arm is highlighted. Uh, so it's you have a right arm and left arm, you have the, the left fingers and right fingers, you have the spine, you have the hips, right leg and left leg, and the head. So those are the different body parts um, that the character is split into. And so when I'm inside a body part, um, it reacts just the same as in full body. So if I pin again the, the wrist here and I rotate, uh, it still reacts like you would expect. But suddenly if I interact with another body part, uh, so here are the spine, I rotate the spine, you'll notice that my pinning is ignored. And that's because when you just work inside a body part, it doesn't communicate with the next body part. So it doesn't follow the, the pinning that you've made. So pinning is only uh, inside a body part or on the entire full body. And if you're in uh, object mode, it doesn't listen to any pinning at all. You can see that the pinning icons are all gone. Of course, pinning is about relationship and reacting to each other. So if you're only working on one object, uh, pinning doesn't mean anything. And in the GUI, if you select like a bar, for the spine, you select all the spine bones so you can easily like tweak the whole spine at once. And it's the same with the neck. If you have several neck bones, you can select all of them in one click and tweak the neck positioning or just select one and uh, fine tune the, the neck. It's the same with the fingers. If you select the tips of the fingers, you move the IK can actually pin uh, the IK position and do this. And if you select uh, the bar, you select all the fingers, FKs, or you can just select one FK and move it one by one. Again, if you're in selection mode and you have some IK blending and you try to rotate the fingers, it's going to behave like